Welcome everybody um, and to Dr. Peter Lowe. Thank you for joining me today. Um, now, uh, Peter is a trainer for One Nucleus and he delivers the Introduction to Drug Discovery course. So, Peter, can you start by just telling us what the course covers? Okay, Jasmine, the course covers the path of drug discovery, a typical, uh, rather generic path of drug discovery, beginning with the idea. Um, then from the idea, we get to a particular project um, and a drug target protein. And then we do the difficult bit, getting a lead compound, a lead series compound. And then finally going on to a clinical candidate. Um, the course is entirely in the preclinical space and it's largely science-based but with some coverage of some of the economics and the infrastructure requirements and the skills required and also ethical considerations. The focus is on small molecules, but it, throughout I do compare it with biologics. It's essentially a walk through the whole process. We take it step by step, bit by bit in an additive session uh, going through the whole process until we get to the clinical candidate uh, from that early from the early idea. It's not meant to be a slideshow. It's oh no, it does have many slides, but it's highly interactive with many mini exercises and large large exercise uh, at the end of the course. Okay, Jasmine, that's it. Excellent, great summary there. And this course is being delivered okay. at the moment um, online and over the course of two days. So my next question, Peter, can you give me a little bit of background on yourself and how long you've been delivering this course for? Okay, well, I'm a, a, a protein biochemist and therefore this is reflected in the course, which is very science orientated. Um, I started life as an academic researcher and then um, after a couple of postdocs, joined the commercial world. And I've never quite forgotten the transition, which I found very difficult. And in fact, many of the people who come on this course um, are indeed undergoing um, the, this transition themselves. I've worked in science-based roles in biotech, dealing with biologics, and also in major pharma, dealing with the discovery of small molecules. I've also worked as a senior manager and a managing director of small uh, biotech uh, service companies. The, this particular course grew out of my hands-on experience at Hoffman La Roche, where I, one of my roles was to listen to the reviews of the projects that were being carried out in the facility. And so over the years, listening to so many of these projects, I realized that they all have a similar pathway and I've encapsulated that pathway in this project. The course has been running now for, it's amazing to think of, but it's been going for almost 15 years and it's constantly been updated over that period because of the changes in technology. Um, and so each course is essentially a, a fresh one, um, uh, ready for this uh, new audience. Wonderful, thank you. So who typically do you feel the course is more aimed towards and who typically attends? Well, it's interesting. Typical attendees over the years have, have tended to fall into categories, three, I'd say, major categories. Uh, one of the largest categories are the people who are undergoing a transition. They're transitioning from often uh, from academia um, into biotech or pharma. And they find themselves in a commercial company by having a very academic background. And therefore, this course helps to bridge that uh, background. Uh, it's a frequent feedback I've had how helpful it is that they, it's, it's bridged um, the, the often difficult transition and also the course covers some of the mindset of pharma and drug discovery, which is quite different from academic 
criteria. I underwent this difficult transition myself, and therefore that's reflected in the course. The other type of uh, attendee is people who have been well established within pharma or biotech, in, but been in very specialized roles. And those are people who want to see outside these roles. They want to, a wider perspective of the whole picture. And therefore they, they, they go on the course and get this, this bigger picture, which is outside their roles. And perhaps also on the course, we get other specialist roles uh, come in. People like patent lawyers or te technology transferring agents, often project managers or commercial management staff. Um, but all of them, I think all three categories really want to see the bigger picture. Um, and that is an underlying theme of the course, the bigger picture, all within one single course. The end. Excellent, <laughs> wonderful. Okay. That okay? so this, yeah, that's wonderful. So this course is typically delivered in-house and as a standard training course. And what are the kind of benefits to each of these? Um, okay, the, <clears throat> as Justin says, we essentially have two types of modes of delivery. We, what we call the standard course is the course that runs about three times a year, spring, summer, and winter, and that's run under the auspices of one nucleus. And it's in the past, it's been run face to face, but now in these days, of course, we're running it virtually, and that works very well. And the standard course has attendees from many different companies, many different research institutes or academia, um, and therefore people are coming from very different backgrounds. And the course is then structured to be largely generic for them um, to cover their um, interest. An alternative mode of delivery is delivery in-house to a particular to a single company. And there we reconstruct the course to some extent to reflect the interests of that particular company, uh, as well as, so it's really the standard course overlaid um, and with particular reference to their research projects in as far as confidentiality uh, allows that. One of the advantages of a large company format like that, a single company format, is that we can train 20 or 30 people of a single company um, in one session. And that can uh, work out uh, more economic than sending individual people uh, to um, the standard course. Plus a single course, company course, gets uh, that essential tail. That's it. Excellent. Well, thank you, Peter, uh, for taking the time today to tell us a little bit more about our introduction to discovery course. And hopefully to those who have been watching, we will see you in the future on some of our courses. Okay, well, thanks, Jasmine. I think so.